my boss was very proud when we designed a solar power ventilation tank. But today I would say that with the USB power, everybody can build a solar power ventilation tank. So let me show you how simple it is. Take this USB power fan or any USB devices, plug in uh, to a solar panel, especially a special solar panel that designed uh, using USB power. All right, voila! Everybody can do that. Simple, right? Hi, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Um, today is going to do a very short video. Uh, this is regarding the USB power. Uh, those of you who have go to the uh, scoremark.com, uh, you probably find out that we have something called uh, USB power. Yeah, uh, We have a special category uh, just focusing on uh, USB power. Yeah. And I will tell you a bit more why uh, it become uh, very important uh, sooner or later for uh, solar power application. Yeah, uh, basically USB power is the uh, is way by you can plug into a PC, laptop, uh, even tablet or battery bank. Uh, you can power it uh, by using USB. Yeah, for instance, I have a light bulb here. And uh, I have a solar uh, power uh, battery bank, and these days are quite f uh, popular, especially when you need to, you know, charge your handphone uh, and mobile and things like that. Yeah. So this is the our solar power uh, battery bank, as well as uh, is a you can use this as a torchlight and things like that. Yeah. So what kind of light? Yeah. Uh, it's a quite a cool stuff, especially if you go for uh, camping. And of course, this always come with the uh, USB power. Yeah. So with this, uh, when you have a USB power device, you just need to you know uh, plug in, and you can use this for lighting. Uh, it come with uh, many many uh, kind of device. This one is my favorite uh, because I think the design is so cool, and then using the latest uh, Korean Mac. Uh, 5056 LED. Yeah, you you heard a lot of 5050, but you have not heard that 5056 LED. Uh, I love it. It's because uh, it's it's powerful. Yeah, very powerful. See, you can use this as uh, you know during camping. Yeah, alright. Another one also my favorite is this uh, design like a spotlight. Uh, you can just uh, plug in and you can use this uh, spotlight. But of course, this guy come with a flashlight. Uh, but let's say you have battery bank, uh, you can use this, yeah. Um, what else, the cool stuff? Uh, fan, uh, if you go to our website, you'll find out there are a few kind of uh, fan. Uh, you will find that uh, it's reasonable, powerful. Uh, yeah, you can hear the sound. Uh, come with the uh, on-off switch, and here's magnetic. Basically, you can stick to uh, anywhere. Uh, it's a magnetic design. Alright, so... If a minute, I think this is a bit heavy. Okay, so uh, so a minute. All right. So um, what kind of fan? Uh, let's say if you have a backup, uh, no power from TMB. If you have a power bank, I think this day everybody have power bank, especially for handphone. Yeah. Uh, you can just you know plug in and cool yourself. It's not gonna be hot like hell. So um, then I have. Uh, this is the uh, light, camping light or emergency light, whatever you can call it. Uh, inside has built-in lithium battery. It's just like the power bank. Uh, but of course, this one cannot use to uh, charge handphone and things like that. But it's uh, quite a cool stuff, and um, you can have different different kind of mode setting and brightness. Yeah. So basically, this one is good. Is uh, use it as emergency. Uh, uh, put in a car or your house as a backup or obviously you can use this yeah 
and here is magnetic. Uh, so basically, you can stick it to any place here yeah, you like. And same as well as this guy, uh, different design but a more aluminium kind of design. And same thing again, uh, it has four different kind of brightness. Yeah, so you can turn it on and use it for camping or emergency or even uh, for solar light application. Yeah. So let's go to the part uh, why this is important. Yeah. Uh, in solar light uh, or solar power application, yeah. Ah, last one, I forgot to tell. This basically is the uh, sensor. It's a motion sensor, uh, it's wireless, and this guy also powered by uh, USB, all right? So you can put in a battery, you also can uh, power by USB. What this sensor is actually is a motion detect sensor. Uh, it will send a signal to the base, and the uh, base will give you the sound like, uh, you know, uh, welcome or alarm sound. So basically, you can use this as a, a, a doorbell. You can use this as a doorbell. Uh, you also can use this as a security alarm. Yeah. So um, those are people who live off grid. Uh, you have a concern, especially on your security, but pulling cable and you know have full swing of uh, power source or to power your alarm sometimes it's a bit challenging so with this uh, USB design uh, battery operated or USB design uh, you can use this to uh, power uh, using solar easily okay let's go to the part about the solar why solar is gonna get involved in this yeah okay um, this is a solar panel uh, everybody know and uh, these days you can see a lot of solar panel at the back there is a USB all right it's a USB design. Uh, basically, uh, you can just uh, plug it in, and uh, it can use to uh, charge the power bank. Yeah. Uh, what I have with me is actually is a watt meter, uh, energy meter. It's just like in the uh, in the house. We can use to figure out how much is power consumption uh, of all these devices. Yeah. So um, I'm sorry, it's a lot of device so that. Uh, um, it might make you guys confused. Okay, what I'm trying to say is actually is um, a solar system. Yeah, basically a solar system, you must have a solar panel. Uh, you have a charge controller, as you guys know. Uh, you have a battery bank, and most of the time you guys are very familiar with the 12V system. Uh, you have 17V uh, solar panel, then you have a 12V battery bank, then you will talk about PWM charge controller, uh, MPPT charge controller. Yeah. Those are the lovely word uh, we like we used to talk and for the past ten years and always talking. But uh, right now, what I'm trying to show you guys here is a new way of uh, doing solar. Uh, this can be considered the new sun series. Could be the part four. Uh, basically, when now let's say the the direction of doing solar uh, will change and how we change it into a new direction whereby. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of VD5 VDC. In other words, is USB power. Why? Because simple reason. This day you can find a lot of solar panel uh, designed for 5V. Basically, they make the voltage roughly about 5 to 6V. Okay, and then the current. They will uh, emphasize on the current. Uh, like for example, this guy is 5 watt panel, uh, 5V, and current is roughly about 1A, yeah, or 1000 milliA, 1A, yeah. Uh, this kind of panel and basically you, what you need is the battery bank okay you can get uh, any battery bank uh, that you have whether it's the normal for handphone what you do is actually the battery bank uh, connect together with a USB and then uh, you can you know just a solar system then you probably ask me where is the charge controller okay um, sad to tell you, uh, modern solar like this are using much advanced uh, batteries such as lithium battery. And most of the lithium battery, like I mentioned in those part, you already have a built in BMS. Okay, I would say that product like all these, they have already built in BMS. Okay, uh, let's say not BMS, they also have a simple circuit, uh, quite a reliable circuit. Uh, Whereby it will not overcharge the battery, uh, like the lithium battery especially. Uh, let's say it's full charge, they will cut off. It's just like our handphone. So basically, it's this guy. What you do is actually 
uh, plug in the USB and this guy you can charge it all right so it's a real solar system so in other words uh, we no longer need charge controller yeah why because also uh, the voltage the the main reason is also the voltage like for example the traditional way you have a solar panel around 17 to 20 21v but the battery bank is roughly about 12 to you know, 13 full charge is about 14 so then you can see a huge voltage uh, different yeah uh, because of that, that's why the charge controller come in and then control the current and things like that. Uh, but these days, the design is a bit uh, different uh, in the sense that uh, this will more focusing on 5V, 6V, and the uh, battery bank is, let's say, is lithium is roughly about 3.2 to uh, 3.6, yeah? So basically, um, with the built-in circuit inside, so you do not need a charge controller so buying that uh, you can uh, power this thing yeah so you probably ask me what happened to the large uh, solar system like those uh, 12V uh, with PWM charge controller I'm gonna throw that away uh, no you're not gonna throw that away is what you will have is actually is a system whereby you have a large solar system with a 100 watt panel or 200 watt panel or 50 watt panel and then come down with a charge controller. For the charge controller, you're gonna charge a very big uh, battery bank, such as 100 AH, 200 AH, or some even smaller, like 40 AH. But from there, you can go and continuing powering your DC load, yeah? Because we have a lot of DC appliances these days. But, but of course, I what I try to say is that you do not forget or uh, disregard the 5 DC system or the USB uh, power. Why? Because um, these days, if you look at around Escoma, we have a lot of appliances uh, or a lot of device, in other words, that use uh, USB power. Why we encourage uh, you guys to use it is because all this product actually is very efficient product. Because uh, the way they use it, because they design for mostly for PC or laptop or, or USB power, the maximum watt is roughly about uh, 5 watt uh, to 10 watt. You hardly see something like uh, 20 watt or, or higher so in other words is whatever you plug in you will know that it will be uh, consumed little power it's not like overkill like some device you plug in it consume about 80 watt or even 100 watt so like that you very fast you you drain out your uh, solar power or your solar your, your battery at the end of the day uh, system always down yeah but we if you choose products such as the 5 VDC or USB power, you, you, you already know all these uh, products as usually use uh, very, very little power and uh, you can save a lot of energy. Yeah? So how do I use the you know, uh, 12V battery bank and how do I make it to 5 VDC? Uh, the previous video I will show you there is uh, we have a USB uh, converter, okay? uh, then you can get it from SCOMA. We also have another model, uh, they are designed as, uh, as well as the USB, but this one uh, you can straight away uh, clip on to your battery bank, 12V battery bank, uh, automatically uh, this will convert to 5VDC and then you can you know, uh, plug in directly to power uh, any, uh, all the devices all right? or charge your uh, 5 VDC USB power bank, battery bank, uh, or handphone uh, battery bank, or charge some of your product already have a built-in uh, battery bank. And now you can see here now is you have a big battery bank, 12 VDC. Then you have a lot of small small battery bank. Okay, so in other words, uh, you will depend quite a few uh, battery backup in your solar system you have the 12 VDC you also have the uh, 5 VDC which is the lithium yeah so by doing so uh, you will see that the solar system some of you might think that it's gonna be um, complicated or confusing but I believe if the times go by when you use a lot of 5 VDC uh, system you will find out actually it's much easy to use is why for a start everybody is using the same uh, USB connector yeah so it just plug and play you do not need to worry about uh, what is positive what is negative or how should I connect this and things like that yeah we make it simplify 
everybody is using the same connector. That is stage number one. Number two, your, like I mentioned just now, uh, all these devices is energy driven, energy efficient driven uh, devices. It's around five to ten watts. Yeah, it's some even smaller. Like this fan, uh, you can set of like one watt to three watts. Yeah, so basically, it's very very energy, uh, you know, very energy uh, efficient kind of product. Yeah, number two, and number three, you know, finally the benefit is some of these devices they already have their own battery bank. So in other words, is uh, and lithium power, uh, you will find out this thing will last very long because of lithium power and this is number three. And actually there is a lot of benefit as we go by. The last one I would say that is once you use, start using all this 5 VDC um, product, you will find out actually your energy consumption start to drop. So in other words, at the end of the day you will find out basically you only need a uh, smaller solar system. You do not need like last time. Uh, you like to put solar system like two hundred watt, even five hundred watt, yeah. But maybe you're getting smaller. Why? Because a lot of things is going to be uh, energy efficient. And then the battery. Once the solar system getting smaller, of course the battery bank gets smaller, yeah. So the traditional kind of sealed basic battery, uh, you probably can use less and depend more on the battery such as lithium, uh, which is last much much longer and charge much much faster yeah so i would say that there are still more benefit of using 5 bdc but of course uh, at one go i do not want to uh, give you too much information so that you probably will get very very confused uh, uh, i believe that from now on there will be more uh, product or more video uh, related to uh, 5 bdc system and from there uh, hopefully you guys can you know follow and try to understand and uh, you know do better and uh, of course if you have more concern any doubt do give us a call or you know uh, write us an email yeah so uh, thanks for watching uh, this uh, YouTube channel all right thanks This one is I put it on low, okay. Uh, you can see it's only consume uh, about uh, yeah, very low. Look at the M. Let's say I put it to full swing. Uh, it's gonna be two point eight, almost three watts. Uh, so that's why I say uh, all these product actually they are using a very energy efficient yeah. Uh, it's the same thing if I try on the light bulb and let's see how much uh, it's about 0 0.9 okay and with this guy brightness all right then let's say try about my favorite this guy okay so basically I say it's a very energy efficient 